If you missed last week's episode, here's a quick recap. We've been working really hard to finish the roof structure of our cantilever rooftop deck. But along the way, we ran into some issues. Let's go. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> Will we finish the structure with the broken man lift? Stay tuned to see what we're up to in this week's episode. It's never a true day of work until something goes wrong and we have to manage it. So today our issue is the lift is stuck. It's sinking in the ground over there. This wheel is not turning and it's not moving. So we have to take the Hummer to pull it out. So let's see how this goes. So since we were having so many issues with the previous man lift, the rental company switched out the previous man lift with this man lift so we could go ahead and finish the job. Sketchy, but we did it. The Hummer, the Hummer is a freaking monster. So this is why it's not good to be too confident. Always good to have some safety, right? Uh, look, the we almost just. I don't know if you can see the depth of that, but we almost went Wait. over. All the eel crack, yeah. Yeah, because none of this is compressed. We just yeah. did this with the excavator and our excavator is tiny. We tried to bring it down here to go up there to finish the trim. Well, we're not gonna do that because uh, we will not be able to get out and that took everything the Hummer had to get this thing out. This thing is 22,000 pounds. So the fact that the Hummer was even able to get it out. It's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. You know, like, I don't know, for those of you that know, the slogan of the Hummer is Hummer, like nothing else. And they're right, it's correct, the saying. So yeah, we have one more piece of trim to install and all the trim is done. Look at that, looking good. My crazy husband. So yeah, on we go. So after we rescued the man lift, we got straight to work installing the fascia to the roof structure. Next up, time to paint the trim. But first, a word from today's sponsor. 
and stay tuned to find out how to enter into a special giveaway. EcoFlow is all about capturing, storing, and using energy in a smart and innovative way. EcoFlow's newest addition to their lineup of smart devices aims to simplify everyday living with innovative solutions such as the Blade, an automated lawnmower with lawn sweeping capabilities, the Glacier, an all-in-one device that triples as a fridge, freezer, and ice maker, and the Wave 2, the follow-up to the most powerful and compact AC and heater unit on the market. This 3-in-1 cooling unit by EcoFlow is a game changer, and let me tell you why. This is the EcoFlow Glacier. It's a 3-in-1 cooling unit featuring dual zones and the industry's first integrated ice maker. The Glacier triples as a freezer, refrigerator, and ice maker, allowing you to make ice cold drinks and fresh food when you're on the road, boat, camping, or off-grid. The Glacier comes with these items, and the battery, wheels, and handle are sold separately. With a 38 liter capacity, the Glacier is really spacious and can hold up to 60 cans. Equipped with a removable divider separating it into two zones and independent temperature control, both sections can refrigerate and freeze from 50 degrees to negative 13 degrees. The Glacier has super fast cooling speeds and can go from 86 degrees to 32 degrees in around 15 minutes. Paired with the 298 watt hour removable plug-in battery, the EcoFlow Glacier can get up to 40 hours of use, making it a great addition to bring with while camping, fishing, or other off-grid activities. The removable battery can also be used as a portable power station. And it also allows the EcoFlow Glacier to be directly recharged with solar panels, charging the cooler in as fast as 2.1 hours. The Glacier features the industry's first integrated ice maker, which makes this cooler multi-purpose and versatile. The powerful 120-watt compressor creates solid ice cubes in only 12 minutes. The 3-in-1 Glacier makes it easier to carry a refrigerator, freezer, and ice maker all in one unit saving space and energy. When we do supply runs, we can never buy groceries because by the time we get back to our place, everything is unfrozen or spoiled, especially on hot days. With the EcoFlow Glacier, we don't have to worry about our frozen food and it's made it so much easier for us. Another thing that's really convenient is you can control the settings from afar with the EcoFlow app. Be sure to click the exclusive link in the description if you'd like to pick up an EcoFlow Glacier Cooler for yourself. It's really an amazing cooler and I'm looking forward to using it on all of our future adventures. Don't forget to click the link in the description for EcoFlow's fall sale. Save up to 58% and get exceptional Amazon deal of the day offers between October 10th and October 11th. Be sure to click the links in the description and use our discount code to get an extra 5% off all deals. Hurry up because this deal is only valid until October 15th. Okay, now for the giveaway. As a thank you to our subscribers, I partnered with EcoFlow to offer a special giveaway. Comment EcoFlow to enter to win a waterproof blanket and a camping light. One lucky winner will be chosen, so don't forget to enter and may the odds be ever in your favor. Special thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. So, reality check. Look, you see all the paint on my face? Because we've been up there trying to paint the trim and our airless sprayer isn't working. It keeps shooting just, whatever. It's not spraying correctly and it's kind of fucking up the finish on everything that we're doing. So we bought another airless sprayer like, I don't know, a month ago, right there. So we just set that one up and that one's really not working. It, the seal isn't working, and as soon as we turn it on, it, the paint starts leaking from the gun and the hose. So it's really not working. We only have the lift for one today. They're coming tomorrow to pick it up, and we can't paint without it. So, totally sucks. It's just such a downer, it's like, it's like 8 p.m. and we're still trying to paint and we're just having just so many problems with equipment and stuff like that. So all of you guys, when you're always asking why it's taking us so long to 
to build the house. It's because of stuff like this. We've been trying to paint since 4 p.m. And we're not, what we have to paint isn't even that much. We just have to paint this trim all the way around. Even, not even on the south side because we're gonna do that on the balcony and we can't. So we're gonna try to make it work and see what we can do, but now we might have to rent the lift again, which is like really expensive and all because of this stupid spray. So, wish us luck. It's moments like this, you see what you're truly made of and what you're capable of persevering through. When I tell you that the house has shaped us into, or really forged us into people that we never knew we could become, it's moments like this <laughs> that is the, uh, catalyst but it's hard let me tell you sunset's pretty though all right up we go to finish the last part so we painted up to there so now we're gonna paint here around the corner and then on the other side pretty much everywhere that we can't paint without the lift. Alright, look how scary this is. balcony but it's fine because we can access this balcony with ladders thank god and now we're gonna call it in because it's about to be dark and we still have to clean the gun so yay my nose is leaking oh my god super hard day I quit <laughs> you know like those well you guys, you guys might not know, but the girls, uh, you know those like fake freckle trends going on? Well, I have this secret for you. Just paint some black paint and you'll have... Whoa, sorry man. You'll have freckles. Look at that. That'll be fun scrubbing that off my face tonight. Okay, alright, that's it for today. Peace. After the paint dried, it was time to paint the roof structure. So, first thing we did was pressure wash to clean it up and prepare it to be painted. Party time! We let everything dry for a while and then got to work on painting. So we are up on the roof, as you can see, painting the risers right here and right here. We went and got another airless sprayer. It's not working the best. Uh, 
I can't say that we're like super happy with it, but we need to move forward and we have to work with what we have at the moment. So it's okay. It's doing an okay job and we're finishing the job, which is the most important. But yeah, anyways, still riding the struggle bus a little bit with the airless sprayers, but what can you do? Yeah. So we still have a long way to go. Well, that was definitely a difficult step to complete, but we ended up working through the setbacks and making it work. These kinds of situations really test our mental strength and it is definitely challenging to work it out. I am so glad the structure is set up and we are ready to move on and get one step closer to getting the roof finished. Everything is turning out really well and I cross my fingers that we don't run into too many challenges in the future. Here's what's coming up next on Pacific Pines Ranch. Doing stuff today. The crane is coming and I will show you why it's coming. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.